Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see about one very important aspect of PCB design that is called as a ground plane, which is also sometimes called as a copper pour. Ground plane or copper pour, it's something which you definitely have seen on almost every type of PCBs that has been manufactured. You can see on any kind of PCBs that there is some additional area which is shown in this copper. We may not understand why this area is placed there, but we can always see it's present in almost every PCBs. The reason for putting such things is, it is nothing but an additional layer which connects either to the VCC or to the ground of the PCB. Consider this simply as an additional ground connection, which provides us with two important things. First, it provides us with an easy and quick connection to the ground wherever it is needed in the PCB. Secondly, this big ground plane helps in reducing the noise from the PCB. So whenever there is an additional ground plane, it is an additional noise separation thing for the noise which is generated due to high speed switching as well as for the convention or for the passing away of the heat. So heat dissipation is also better when you have bigger ground planes. You can see the advantages and disadvantages of the ground planes at many places. Here, our area or our discussion is about how to give this ground plane into easy idea. We will see this kind of ground planes are present everywhere in many PCBs. So let's see how to put this ground plane in the easy idea. We have created this simple project that is our LED based, uh, triple five based LED flasher. We have also recently created a double sided PCB design out of it. This ground plane can be put either in the top side or in the bottom side as well as on the both sides. So it's not mandatory. The layer of your PCB is irrelevant when you are putting a ground plane. So consider if you have a single sided PCB designed, then you can have a ground pour created onto that also. If you have a double sided PCB design, you can have a ground pour on that kind of PCB also. The ground pour can also be put on the top copper or bottom copper or both at the same time. So this is how our PCB looks before putting a ground plane and this is how it looks after putting a ground plane. Let's see how to put it on both the tracks in our design. So here is our easy EDA. Yeah, that's our design. So we have created this layout so far. And now what I have to do is I have to put a ground plane into it. So when we have to put a ground plane or a solid region into it, copper region into it, we have to find for one PCB tool here. You can see this dotted or dashed tool here, which is copper area. So we have to use this tool when we have to put a ground plane. So just click it once. Depending upon which layer you have selected, the ground plane will be applied. So let's choose bottom copper first or bottom layer first. So this ground plane or copper area will be put on the bottom side. So just start from whenever you want to put it. You can also put a small ground plane like this, but I'll currently put it for the entire PCB. So just I'll click it once over here and it will start putting a dashed dashed line. So I have just clicked once and just left it. So here if I want to finish this line, I will click it once more. Then I'll start the other line. So it just creates a square or a rectangular shape. Again click leave. Again click and leave. Now after leaving here, you have to click the right click for sure. After giving the right click, the ground pl plane is completed. You can see the ground plane is very finely adjusted which goes even from between the IC pins or IC pads. Just click on the plane anywhere and you can select the ground plane. It's now selected. Here you can see the copper area properties. The net it's connected it's to ground. You can change this if needed but usually it's connected to the ground only. This is the layer where it has been put. So if I choose top copper then it gets shifted to the top side. So let's put it on the bottom only. And this is the clearance, which is usually 10 mils. Clearance means the distance from the nearest track or the pad or the hole. If we increase this clearance is it to 25 mils, it looks better. Make sure that the ground plane looks good, but it should not enter these IC pins. Because if you do that, then creating a single sided design or DIY design will be an error for you. So choose this clearance depending upon your desire or your expectation. As told you before, by selecting the entire ground plane, you can change it also to the 
top side as well as if I delete it completely I can also put a smaller ground plane if needed say if I want a ground plane only across the IC so I can create it like this once complete shape is done don't forget to do a right click again you can select it and change the required clearance so that's it about the ground plane you can keep the ground plane at both the sides as uh, in the top side as well as in the bottom side at the same time it doesn't affect anything at all so this is how the top as well as the bottom ground plane is created in this case i will change one of the plane to the bottom side and keep one at the top side so when you see the photo view you can clearly see the additional ground planes which have been created so on the top side you can see this much ground plane area created if i change the photo view to the bottom side you can see it created over here so that's it about the ground plan create the ground plan for your created pcbs and see for this video again if you find any difficulty doing it i hope you would have enjoyed this session thank you